Okay, I now like to talk a little bit about uh, sedimentation that occurs along the Karamu uh, River and along some of the tributaries of the Karamu. But this also happens along the lower reaches of um, the Nara Dordor, uh, the Clive, um, which is the outlet for the Karamu, and around Waitangi Estuary as well. So there's a lot of sediment building up um, all through there each of those different catchments and how, how are these managed at the moment I think uh, there's room for improvement of the management of these sediments so what happens during the um, different parts of the season for uh, market gardening cropping and things like that there's a risk that some of the, the soils the top soils and the sediment around the, um, the edges of the stream they, they actually cave in cave into the stream and then as when you get a fresh or a, a heavy rainfall event they wash into the stream channel and further down so th this has several effects one of them is that it smothers the the stream bed and so all of the insects that um, that live on the stream bed they have difficulty surviving um, they like a stony bottom stream and so you get a change in habitat and then you get a change in species as well you find that uh, a lot of pest species um, mosquito fish you know, things like that snails that weren't originally there um, they now become the normal in that channel and it, it detracts from the the natural ecosystem I guess. Now the ecosystem, the aquatic ecosystem and ecosystem processes is something that is supposed to be protected uh, so the the tank plan provides opportunity for us to to leverage off or to enforce these elements of ecosystem health uh, through the tank plan and through our submissions to that plan sediment of course is um, also comes into the Karamu with the stormwater uh, the stormwater is actually being the contaminants in the stormwater actually attach themselves to the sediments and then of course the chemicals and, and the things within those sediments um, they're not much good for uh, fish health insect health so they, are, they detract from the overall health of the karamu and then that becomes um, it's an impediment to improving the health of the karamu catchment another thing around sediment and stormwater is that you get all of these different types of chemicals um, and compounds that are in the sediment and the muds and things uh, you get heavy metals of course um, you'll get copper, lead, zinc, chromium you also get things that come off the roads you get um, what they call PAHs you also get uh, fine rubber particles off tyre wear off all of the cars um, and I don't know if you've noticed but sometimes when you go to clean your car on your um, the wheels of your car the, the the mag wheels you get this fine powder and that powder comes from the brake linings and some of the brake linings have got things like asbestos and, and stuff like that in the brake linings they get onto the road and gradually wash into um, the stormwater and then from the stormwater into your into your streams and rivers so again they, they um they have they interfere with the uh the the ability, uh, the breeding capability of fish and so that's another consideration uh, in terms of managing stormwater and managing it effectively.